What's up folks? So I'm at the grocery store and I'm going to show you the ins and outs of what to look for, what to get, what to not get when you come to the store because a lot of y'all don't know. I didn't know. So let's go figure this out. And first and foremost, I want you all to realize that this is not going to be a short video. As you can see, it's almost a half hour long because there's a lot to go over. I'm a personal trainer first and my personal training heart wants to show you the ins and outs of the grocery store. So let's do this together and let's do it right, okay? First things first is fruits. You can't go wrong with fruits. You can't go wrong with anything that grows up out of the ground, to be perfectly honest. When it comes to watermelon, when it comes to cantaloupes, when it comes to melons, when it comes to apples, you cannot go wrong with these things. Just like berries. There's so many different uses of berries. You can just freeze them and keep them for a long time. They're fibrous, they're nutritious. Eat you some berries. Also onions. Onions, the benefits of onions are just endless. I eat onions every single day. And then there's things like corn. Make sure you're getting good corn, not just corn from a can. Pineapples, especially after you work out. If you need a splash of sweetness in your smoothies, pineapples are great. Tomatoes, gotta love them. Tomatoes are something that I eat at least five out of the seven days every week. And if you're having salads, cherry tomatoes, they are so good. They give you that splash of flavor, flavor that your body actually craves. Garlic, oh, the benefits of garlic are immense. And then these little halos, like oranges, tangerines, tangelos, all these little things, your body's craving sweetness. Instead of going for a candy bar, go for these kind of fruits, even grapes. They're sweet, they're good. Whether they're red seedless like these or they're the green grapes, they're good stuff. Bananas, bananas are a wonderful thing to wake up and eat. They're a good source of carbs. They're also something to eat uh, right before you go to sleep. Avocados, you can, there's many uses of avocados, just like guacamole. Avocados are great, it's a great choice. Potatoes, there's sweet potatoes, there's yams, there's all sorts of things, little red potatoes. They even sell these potatoes individually wrapped if you just wanna have a baked potato. Asparagus, goodness, I love asparagus. Put a little bit of butter stuff on there. There's green beans, Brussels sprouts. If it's green, it'll get you lean. Straight up, I'm telling you. Now, I mean, you just walk through the grocery store and you will see a lot of different things in the vegetable and the fruits section. And if you go to like a more local food store, like this one is Bueller's in my town. You'll see so many fresh vegetables locally grown. Support your local farmers, support your local grocery stores because stores like Walmart are really lacking in the quality. Now, talking about lacking in the quality, let's get into fruit juices. These things like Naked Drinks and Bathhouse Farms, they're all sugar, 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 stay away. Then we got these little things called hummus. This is something you should gravitate towards. There's a lot of fat in hummus, but it's a healthy alternative snack. Something that you should absolutely stay away from? Birthday cakes, pastries, these sorts of things. Anything that's cooked with sugar on top of it, sugar inside of it, sugar, sugar, sugar. Yes, it looks good. I'm a cake lover. I used to love donuts. I, I used to eat this stuff all the time. Years of my life gone and wasted. But folks, this stuff isn't good for you. It's simply not good for you. Just keep passing it up. And I'm going to keep showing you things that you need to pass up in these grocery stores, folks. So just so you know. Another thing you need to pass up is pop. Yet alone diet pop. Any kind of pop. Normal pop has a bunch of sugar in it and high fructose corn syrup, if not both. But diet pop has aspartame, has a lot of bad things, just like Gatorade. You really need to stay away from Gatorade, to be perfectly honest. If you want to drink something to give you those electrolytes, drink BCAAs. Uh, honestly, just buy a tub of BCAAs. Stay away from fruit juice. If you want real fruit juice, you need to be looking for the fruit juice in glass bottles. They're usually at the end of the aisle, but they're more expensive because it's legitimate fruit juice, not some processed sugar-based garbage, but they're in glass bottles. 
If you want some kind of juice to give you flavor, kind of like a water-like thing, these Bai drinks, Bai, I don't know how to say it, but those drinks are something I would gravitate towards because it's just a little bit of flavor, about 10 calories. Now, obviously chips. There's a lot, most of the things in this aisle, this just chip aisle, you need to stay away from plain and simple. But one thing you can have is Skinny Pop. These Boom Chicka Pop, these the kettle corn, they're sea uh, salt, there's all these different flavors. They're vegan friendly, they taste great, and they're calorie great. Like, go get some of that. Go get some kettle corn in your life. And if anything, go make some. Make your own. You don't need to buy this processed garbage in the stores. Just make your own. In the end of the aisle, normally, there's these nuts. Like bold, sriracha, blue diamond nuts. Go get some. It'll get you some flavor in your life. So you don't need all these chips and pretzels and everything. I mean, let's, let's honestly, let's look at the back of a package of pretzel rods right here. There's one gram of fiber. There's 22 grams of carbs with just not a good ratio and then there's 110 calories so honestly you're not getting much fiber in there so all of that all those carbs are going straight to your bloodstream don't you don't really need pretzels if you really want a good snack go get some pickles in your life now I just picked up a jar of bread and butter pickles there's five grams of sugar in there so you need to be careful with how much you consume so you might want to go for like a more natural like brand like that but pickles are a good alternative if you need something different in your diet something to crunch on a little bit something something sweet even apple cider vinegar I'll link that video up above there's endless benefits of apple cider vinegar make sure you have two tablespoons of that a day at least you can use that for a lot of things I know a lot of people have mayo or mayonnaise or miracle whip I personally choose just mayo because the ingredients are right, the macros are right, and the taste is right. It'll be less calories and less fat for your soul. Another thing that you can use, um, honestly, in a lot of different ways, is mustard. Now let's look at what mustard actually has to bring to the table besides zero calories, zero carbs, zero protein, but there's zero fat. The only thing that's in mustard is sodium in a very minimal amount. Now honestly, look at uh, honey mustard. Like this is Dijon honey mustard, French's. And you flip that around, there's only five calories. There's only, there's there's nothing in there. There's less sodium in the honey mustard than there is in normal mustard. So if you need something to flavor up your salads or to flavor up your life, go get some mustard. Don't go towards salad dressing. Now, no high fructose corn syrup and ketchup. That's something that a lot of people didn't even realize that it's in ketchup, but it is. So make sure that you're getting ketchup without the high fructose corn syrup. And there's only 20 calories in ketchup anyways. It's not that bad, but even this ketchup that says, hey, I have no preservatives, and people are like, oh, it's gotta be healthy then. Let's look at that horrible thing that's on the ingredients, high fructose corn syrup. That's something that you need to stay away from like the plague, folks. And it's in a lot of salad dressings too. But if you're one of these people and you eat dairy and you eat meat, then there's these salad dressings that you want like this Greek yogurt salad dressing. This is one that you need to go gravitate towards. There's only 60 calories, only two grams of sugar. There's only five grams of fat, which is actually really low for salad dressing. And there's only 240 milligrams of sodium. That's a really good salad dressing to grow towards. But let's compare it to another one. Let's just say Wishbone Ranch. It says great for dipping. The calories are more than double. The fat is more than double. The everything else is almost more than double. The sodium's about the same. But goodness gracious, you could go get the same flavor for half the calories. Now one thing, I, since I'm vegan, I don't get meat, dairy, eggs, that sort of stuff in my diet. So I go for gluten-free pancakes because usually there's no eggs in there. There's nothing in there that I, that I can't eat. And guess what? It tastes great. And guess what? The calories are actually comparable, if not less, every single time than like any other pancake brand. So if you are like me, go for gluten-free pancakes if you didn't know what to do or those recipes 
just haven't been working out because that was, that's been my biggest issue. Trying to find a vegan pancake recipe that doesn't taste nasty. Now, soups. We all like soup, right? A lot of us like soup. It's quick, it's easy, it's just a can, you can eat the whole thing. But you gotta be careful. Everything that says no preservatives added, you might have to actually be careful of. Uh, 890 grams of sodium when you only should be having 2,000 to 2,500 per day, that's not good. That's going to keep you swollen up. That's going to just do some wonderful, not so wonderful, things to your heart, to your kidneys. Get, stay away from anything with that much sodium. Gravitate towards more things that you can make. If you want to make soup, then go buy black beans, go buy navy beans, kidney beans, 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 beans. The more you eat, the more you poop. Yeah. The, mu the musical fruit. <laughs> We're getting off track. I, I eat beans every single day. Another thing that I eat a lot of, of the time is rice. There's nothing wrong with white rice. There's nothing wrong with brown rice. Go eat some rice. The difference is the flavor and the difference is a little bit of the fiber. You know, there's going to be a little bit more fiber in the brown rice than the white rice. But nevertheless, it's a great source of carbs. Have at it and actually take the time to make it because when you get into these little packets right here that you just add water or you just warm up what you're going to be doing is you're going to be getting into high sodium one of those little packets obviously you're gonna use more than one serving so more than one serving of that you're gonna be getting at least a thousand milligrams of sodium which is just crazy like this uncle Brent Ben's minute rice right here Look at this when it actually focuses in. Come on, camera. There's 770 milligrams of, for just a half a bag of sodium in this thing. So you eat both of that and you eat both servings in that bag. You're done for the day. Like I said, go actually make the stuff. Buy normal rice, buy normal beans, buy normal things. Take the time to cook it. That's what a crock pot's for. You make all, you mix all this stuff up, do it overnight. Do it before you go to work, so you come home and you actually have good food to eat. Especially because most of us don't have a lot of time. Get some quinoa in your life. Has anybody actually ever made quinoa salad with vegetables, with beans? It's so good. Look up quinoa salad recipes on Pinterest. It's good stuff. Jasmati rice? Um, yes, get some, please. Now. You gotta watch out for soy sauce because yes, it's low in calories, but look at that sodium. That is incredibly intense and most of us use multiple servings of that. Try to go towards coconut secret coconut aminos. It tastes just like soy sauce. I don't even understand how they do it. But look at the sodium, only 90 milligrams. That's phenomenal. Even the calories are cut in half. Go get yourself some coconut secret. Same thing for teriyaki sauce, because that is something that holds in a lot of sodium as well. This is the pasta that I recommend to everybody in this whole wide world. Dream Fields, I've talked about this before. I've, I really have in multiple videos. Now let me get these calories and proteins and all this stuff up on here. 190 calories, one gram of fat, there's five grams of fiber and you got soluble in, and insoluble and you got seven grams of protein in this thing. And all of the different, that they have is the same it tastes great it doesn't taste healthy you know what I'm talking about something tastes healthy they got lasagna let's see they got macaroni and they got rotini it's so good I would recommend it to the world now what do you put on that kind of pasta obviously you put pasta sauce you gotta be careful because there's a lot of hidden sugars in pasta sauce and you're like sugar yeah because people put sugar in their pasta sauce to make it taste better like this nine grams of sugar now mind you I know for a fact that this pasta sauce tastes great but there is nine grams of sugar in there so just be careful I'm not saying you should completely stay away from it just be careful how much of it you're consuming because that's 45 grams of sugar if you eat that whole jar by your daggone self Newman's own this is my favorite brand has a little bit less sugar, has three grams of fiber. They do have organic kinds in this brand. And all the donations that you, well, all the money that you put forth to buy this brand is actually, it goes towards charity. 100% of the money goes towards charity. So that's cool. Going through the cereal aisle with all the granola bars and, oh, oh, 
this is something I see people buy all the time. Something that I've seen people buy since I've been a little kid. These little crunchy bars. Look at this though. There's 11 grams of sugar within that thing. Most people eat this for breakfast when they're walking out the door or they take it to school with them. And if you're a kid, you have just consumed almost half of the sugar that you should be eating every single day. Just in that moment right there. So you gotta be careful. You just gotta be careful what we're feeding our kids, what we're feeding ourselves. That's not a good choice. It's really not. Just eat normal oatmeal if you if you need something like that in your life, to be perfectly honest. Now let's get into cereal. I'm gonna link that video called Cereal Killer above. I've talked about this in deeper context, so go check out that video. But cereal like Lucky Charms has trisodium phosphate, AKA something that you stain your deck with to preserve it. You shouldn't be putting it inside of your body no matter what the FDA, their lies they have to tell you. See, this is what General Mills does. We don't have all these things in there, but we dab try sodium phosphate and no one's saying a daggone thing. Stay away from this like the plague unless you really want to increase your risk of cancer. To be perfectly honest, it's that deep and we overlook it and it's in our favorite cereals. We know Lucky Charms and Cinnamon Toast Crunch is good, but we need to stay away from it like the plague. Pop-Tarts, another thing. There's really no nutritional value in Pop-Tarts. You might as well just go eat a candy bar. There's 18 grams of sugar per Pop-Tart. 210 calories per Pop-Tart. High fructose corn syrup. Um, there is no reason to ever eat a Pop-Tart. There's just, there's just not, for the sake of your long-term health, there's not. Pure maple syrup. If you have to have syrup, go pure maple syrup straight from mother nature if you have to but if you don't like that kind then go for log cabin no high fructose corn syrup brand whether you want to delight in or sugar free or just original go for one of those because normal like aunt jemima for example let's get this in focus high fructose corn syrup corn syrup those are the first two ingredients there's no protein there's 32 grams of sugar and lord knows you have like four or five servings of that oh my gosh not worth it totally not worth it now let's go down the healthy aisle in the freezer section like with all the little microwave meals and stuff and let's just check out a lean cuisine meal yes 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 I used to eat these all the time keyword used to but especially when i was trying to lose weight these things are great because there's only 230 calories. There's seven grams of protein in this. There's a lot of, there's actually three grams of fiber. There's 37 grams of carbs. You know what, this isn't horrible. There's 60, 640 milligrams of sodium. So you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful with how much of these that you actually eat. Now I used to eat these little healthy choice bowls, the little cafe steamers. Steamer bowls got me through. Like, I literally lost weight by eating these steamer bowls because they're like 200 to 300 calories. And that's it. And there's like almost 30 grams of protein in there. So if you're, if you're somebody that eats that kind of thing, then go get it if you're trying to lose weight, but you gotta watch out for the sodium. Now, if you're somebody that doesn't really honestly have time to buy these fresh vegetables and cook them up, just buy frozen. Just buy frozen. There's a lot of different options of every kind of vegetable you can ever think of. All you gotta do is warm it up and you're golden. Now, I, again, being vegan, there's a lot of different options for eating things that taste just like meat. I don't even understand it, but beyond meat, I'll tell you till the day that I die, is amazing. It tastes and has the texture of just like chicken and beef and all these other things. Go try it out. Um, also, if you're on my way of life, Quinoa burgers. There's a lot of different brands. There's a lot of different things for like a lot of meat products that you would normally eat like in your former life. Um, just go and try them out. I highly suggest these Amy California veggie burgers. They are phenomenal. I don't know how they do it. They're just really good. I would never recommend to you anything that tastes bad. I'm not about that bad tasting food life. Not at all. Ice cream. Speaking of non bad tasting food freaking ice cream I was just talking to one of my friends in the gym about enlightened ice cream if you have no idea what enlightened is go get it because it's like it's less calories for full flavor 
just like Halo Top and sometimes they're on sale like they are at my grocery store. And then there's also things that if you don't eat dairy products like soy and rice and almond based ice cream. There's a lot of different options. You just kind of go, got to go look for it. Even that So Delicious brand. It's good stuff. You're going to pay for it. You're going to pay for it in the end. But even Ben & Jerry's has non-dairy selection and they're obviously their normal stuff. $7.49. Daggone. That's crazy expensive. It really is. Why is the almond Ben & Jerry's the only ones not on sale? Y'all notice that stuff? What is this? How am I supposed to eat ice cream? Apparently I have a sign from God telling me I'm not. Anyways, bread. I'll tell it to you till the day I die. Eureka Organic Sweet Bread is the best bread in the whole wide world. And I buy it every time I go to the grocery store because I'm always in need of it. There's a lot of fiber, a lot of protein, lot, not so much fat, and honestly, not so much carbs compared to other breads. It's good stuff. Go get it and tell me how you like it. Now, to put on that bread, you know I like me some peanut butter and jelly. Smuckers, it's right here from like 15 minutes away. That's where the main Smuckers factory is. Gotta support that localness. And look at that. If your jelly or jam doesn't have just those ingredients, strawberries and sugar and pectin, then you need to get a different brand because there's a lot of junk in there. That's why I go for these naturals, especially Smuckers Natural. They know what they're doing. Like the only ingredients in this Smuckers Natural peanut butter is peanuts and salt that's it there's eight grams of protein there's uh, six grams of carbs it's not bad for you you just got to watch out how much you eat because it's, it's easy to overeat on peanut butter and jelly it, it's very easy it's very easy there's a lot of different comparison videos online and oh the peanut butter company oh have at it that brand is so tasty and speaking of tasty, oh, get away from my life, Oreos, you're the devil, you're the devil, get away from me. There's a lot of cookies and there's a lot of things in the cookie aisle, shocking, that you just need to stay away from. Plain and simple. There's, there's really no need, unless you're having a cheat meal that you're planned out, to eat these cookies. Even these crackers, these cheeses, these club crackers, these saltines, they hold no nutritional value. But there's things like Triscuits. That we need to take a closer look into because these are deemed more healthy. Now look at this. There's only two grams of fiber. That ratio between fiber and carbs are good. One gram of fiber per 10 carbs is a good ratio. Triscuits are solid. I, I would go eat some Triscuits. There's a little bit of protein in there. The first ingredient is long grain brown rice and whole grain wheat are the two first ingredients. Go get it. Go get some brown rice, red roasted red pepper triscuits. Uh, stay away from Ritz crackers though. It says roaches vegetable roasted and they're vegetable. Let's go. No, no, no. There's no fiber. So all that's gonna hit your bloodstream real quick. And there's a ton of, sat, a ton of fat in there. So you're eating sugar and fat, plain and simple. Like that you just might as well just go eat some fruity pebbles to be perfectly honest now let's look at the butter a lot of us have butter toast in the mornings we put butter in our oatmeal we put butter in our rice there's a lot of uses for butter but we have to make a good choice because this is a big calorie dense object now there's only 80 calories in this earth balance there's only nine grams of fat there's full flavor it's a good option. It's organic even. So I don't know why you would stay away from it. There's a lot of benefits to it. I personally do the Smart Balance brand. There's omega-3s, there's olive oil. It helps your cholesterol levels. And let's just look at the actual macros of this all. Honestly, it's full of flavor. I recommend it to anybody in the whole wide world. I've talked about this multiple times. And only 80 calories, only nine grams of fat only 90 milligrams of sodium have at it to be perfectly honest have at it let's compare that to a local brand from around here Hartzler's dairy 100 grams of fat or 100 calories 11 grams of fat a ton more saturated fat a lot more sodium just like milk milk there's a lot better options for milk if you for calorie wise for protein wise for the macro wise too not just taste between 100 and and then only 30 calories, you can't go wrong with almond milk, with coconut milk, with nut milk, with soy milk, to be perfectly honest, compared to normal milk. It might have all these supporting factors in there. It might be organic, but 
130 calories, 5 grams of fat, 12 grams of sugar. Dude, stay away from milk at all cost. Honestly, if you literally just compare it to almond milk, let's look at this. Just normal almond milk, 60 calories. There's only 60 calories in there. Now, you might not get as much protein in there, but you're going to have less sugar, less calories, less fat. I don't know what you're doing. Now, let's round this video off with juice because juice is one of those things a lot of people have growing up, even possibly right now in your refrigerator. It's basically drinking a milkshake. To be perfectly honest, you might as well just go buy a milkshake. It's all sugar. It's just plain sugar. And this one in particular, 23 grams of sugar. 23 grams. Good night. And that is where we end, folks. There's nothing else I have to show you in the store. About to talk to you in my car here in about three, two, one. And that's a wrap, folks. It's not rocket science, but at the same time, it's a huge learning curve. I went for years of my life and had no idea of any of these things, just aimlessly buying, just looking at calories, proteins, fats, and carbs, those things. And mind you, you will lose weight if you just follow proteins, fats, and carbs under a calorie base diet, like a, if it fits your macros like things. But you gotta look for other things for the sake of your overall health, like your sodium, like the sugar, like fiber. These little things matter in the long run because if you are only in it for the short term, yes, you will lose weight. But yes, your heart rate will increase. Yes, kidneys will have issues. Yes, cancer will increase the risk of it, I'm saying. You gotta look at the ingredients, you gotta actually know what you're putting into your body, you gotta actually know what you're doing to it long term. It's not about this short term, it's not about just living for today, it's about trying to live 90 years from now healthy and not having regrets, thinking, man, I wish I wouldn't have filled my body full of crap, and you know what? Half the stuff in the grocery store is crap. That's why I wanted to go through the store and show you this stuff so that you know what to go to, what to stay away from, it'll cut your grocery shopping time down in half, and you can thank me later, honestly. But I hope you love this video. Please share it with those ones that you love because you want them to be woke on this knowledge too. Like and subscribe. This is Woo It. Woo!